Hi everyone, this is Phil from It Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the giant bee in ARK Survival Evolved. Patch 257 dropped, and it gives us access to the giant bee. Now, the giant bee comes in two flavors. We have the queen bee and the drone bee. The queen bee is the only one that you can tame, and where you're going to find the queen bee is in the redwoods in these nests. What you have to do is shoot at them and try to break them open, but when you do so, a bunch of drones are going to come and say, Hi, how are you doing? Now, these guys are a little bit of a challenge because they have a sting that will knock you off a flyer and will also slow you down. Eventually, when you do break the hive, the queen will emerge with another bunch of drones. The queen is tamed in a passive tame. All you have to do is have some wildflowers or some kibble in your inventory, get up next to it, and press E. I highly recommend having some bug repellent on because otherwise you're going to be dealing with a whole lot of this. And then this is going to happen because the queen bee is remarkably delicate. But eventually, if you do everything correctly, you will get a giant queen bee of your very own. There is also a kibble available. I will post the recipe for the kibble in the description below. So why the heck did you want this bee in the first place? Well, it's so that you can get a beehive. When you push E, you can turn the bee into a beehive, which is an item in your inventory that you can then place at your base on the ground. Now, once you go into the hive, and be aware you should have bug repellent or a ghillie suit on, or you will be attacked by bees when you access the hive, what you're going to do is you're going to put some wildflowers into the beehive in order to keep it healthy. By doing so, over time, the beehive will turn from this state into this state, which is this gooey, honey-covered mess. And when you open it up, you can see we have some giant bee honey. Giant bee honey has several uses, the first of which is as a lure. You can throw it on the ground and dinosaurs will be attracted to it. This is particularly useful when you have a dinosaur that's being uncooperative and you want it to go into a taming pen. Giant bee honey has a fairly quick perishing time of 20 minutes in your inventory, so if you're not going to use it, it's best to leave it in the refrigerator or in the hive. Another thing that the honey is good for is attaching to a fishing rod. It acts as a lure. But the most important thing it is used for is for the Leopleurodon. If you throw it into the water, the Leopleurodon will eat it, and it will be a little bit more passive. Then if you have the honey in your tenth slot, you can press E and passively tame a Leopleurodon. Do you know any other uses for giant bee honey? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like or a comment, or better yet, subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there.